Okay, that's it. I'm not gonna. That's just to show you, plays. This needs to be set up badly. I mean, it's set up badly now, but there it is. The glowing, glowing, uh, what, one, two, three, four, six, seven, nine, almost a thousand dollars in pickups. Unbelievable. But they all work. And the way that my tech set it up, I totally forgot how to do it. But there's one way to kill it. There's three volumes and one tone. I think this is the tone. I guess. This should be the volume for that one. This should be volume for that one. somebody that worked at Gibson. He doesn't work there anymore, that's why I can say his name is Rich. I just can't remember his last name. And he can't get in trouble because he doesn't work for them now. He's back where he should be. Um, but that's it. Make sure all the volumes are down. And tone. Okay, so that's this. And it does a very pretty, this is pretty, huh? It's Looks cool. I think Ace should do this. Blue. You know, Ace, because it's his color, but, you know, whatever. So there you go. And that's why this pick, there's a pick guard here. I don't know if you can, or a plectrum guard plate. Right there's a little switch, so. So, there you go. That's all mine does is, is colors. Ah, that's that one. It's worth a lot of money. Because yes, it is real and uh, whatever you guys want to think. It doesn't matter because I'm not selling it. So you can go, it's a fake or what. And this one, even if it was a fake, this is my 78 Ibanez Iceman. Nothing special about it except for the incredible restoration. Because this was a pile of junk I bought in, like, 1991 or 2, 91 or 2, at uh, a KISS convention when they had them, little ones, down here in L.A. And a guy was selling it for, like, a hundred and something bucks. And this with the case. And, the case, and it was just beat up. But I'm like, cool, a real old Iceman. I could you know, fix it up, because you couldn't find them, and if you could, they weren't cheap, and I didn't have a lot of money at that point, I'd just gotten out of music, and I was, you know, wasn't floating in cash yet, but I did just get back from Vegas, where a chick lent me a, a nickel, when I was in Henderson, when Henderson used to be a little place, and I put it in nickel slots, and uh, couple hundred and then I went up to quarter slots and I got the 700 bucks and then she said I had to split it with her you gave me a nickel here's your nickel we argued all the way home and I finally just gave her half I'm like it is you know whatever free money and that's what I did with most of it was buy this so it sat in my garage it was just junk 
I met this guy, RCA Guitars. Everybody knows him because everybody's getting their guitars painted by him now because of this. So, and he charged me 600 bucks for the total restoration and paint job. So not only do you get that, <laughs> look at that. We got EMGs, passive EMGs that he painted over. And then he did that as a surprise, like the solo albums. He's like, dude, you're going to do it, blah, blah, blah. So he added extra chicks all along the bottom and totally, completely ground up restoration. Electronics, everything. In the back, Kiss and Blood, man. If you bought the friggin' album, you know that this is what the sleeve was. Yeah, album cover sleeve, blah, blah, blah. And I always thought it'd be so cool to have that. Now I do. And right on the back of the best... I mean, look at that. It's perfect. It looks like the album. The guy's an amazing artist. Charges a little more now that he's got a name. And then I did I put... Yeah, I actually have a Paul Stanley... Uh, a real Paul Stanley truss rod cover I put on there. And then he had to track down a decal, actually, from Ibanez. Put it on... And he said he didn't like it, and he, I don't know what he did, but he did it. <laughs> but it's its just your basic 78 uh, Iceman, you know. It's not the high end, but it's nice. It's got, you know, binding, and he restored the hell out of it. Just beautiful, 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 beautiful. I mean, it's not it's a neck through, but hey, I've had offers on this. You would not believe how much people are willing to pay for this. Because he won't do this again. He did this for me the same year, I think, uh, 2010, 2011. That was a long time ago, babies. And I didn't know what to do. I had these, uh, whatever, you know, the. they're nice. Uh, they're not the original, because those are so jacked up. And I could have got the original uh, tuning keys, but I decided not to because, eh, whatever. I can always swap them out and put them in. But these are the ones where you can, you know, lock them. You lock the string in there and then tune it. It's not a locking string like people seem to think. But there you go. So these are my two high-end baby Kiss guitars. I also got, I got every one. I got the Punisher, the Axe. I got several Ace guitars. I got about six Paul Stanleys, you know, the Washburns, the Silvertones, everything. Got them all. But these are these two are the best. This the glowing pickup one and my I don't think this I don't think it makes noise. I never play it. I'm I'm afraid I'm gonna scratch it. And I'm sure it's in tune not oh why don't I turn off oh <laughs> I know what I did I'm not going to tune it, but you get the idea. It works. There's no way I'm going to sit here and tune it for you guys. Done. Quit humming. Whatever. Okay, so there you go. That's it, that's your kiss thing for a